AI development is accelerating at such breakneck speeds, it feels like science fiction. To handle the risks, we need only look to past technologies like the automobile and heed the warnings of scientists as they work to secure these complex systems. I think the biggest mistake that most people make is to think of AI as we see it now and not look at the trend where the capabilities are going. The way they're, we're currently developing AI, it's like we are driving this car, racing each other on a steep road in a mountain where we've never been. And we see gleaming peaks with promises of amazing benefits for whoever's gonna come first. We're driving in the fog and we don't really know where we're going, what even are the risks that we're taking in some cases. And some scientists are warning that there's dangerous slopes, there could be catastrophic accidents. And unfortunately, we're lacking the guardrails, we're lacking the headlights to help us steer wisely in a direction where we can benefit from AI. I've been thinking about this with the idea that in my car are my children, my grandchild, and, and I need to think about them, about their future. And I ask people, you know, who's with you in your car, in your care for the future? Because that's what's going to motivate us to do the right thing. The question is how fast can society adapt compared to how fast AI advances will continue to go. Uh, hopefully, we manage to catch up. To reach that beneficial future, AI researchers at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory are working to create security features for risks like those described by Professor Bengio. These efforts are more crucial than ever. AI technologies such as large language models are rapidly evolving and are now integrated into our browsers, software, and phones. Seemingly overnight, these AI tools are transforming the way we work, live, and think. However, this isn't the first time rapidly developed and popularized technology has made historic impacts on society. When cars first hit the roads, they were revolutionary, but with no seat belts, airbags, paved roads, or traffic laws, they were also quite dangerous. We've come a long way since then, and the future of the automobile looks even more automated. Cars are beneficial to society as long as they are used safely and responsibly. AI models without safeguards can be used for misinformation, scamming, or the creation of hazardous materials. So unlike cars, where we had decades to prepare for all these safety issues and then come up with technologies as well as regulations to resolve them, with AI, we don't have that much time. AI is uh, rapidly evolving, and at the same time, it is rapidly being integrated in the society. If we get this thing wrong, then we will be making irreversible damage, and we won't be able to fix it. Cars became safer over decades of infrastructure improvements like asphalt, traffic lanes, and street lights, as well as built-in features like seat belts and airbags. AI models need similar risk management in the form of security guardrails, monitoring systems, and ethical guidelines to ensure responsible use. When an AI model is first created, it learns by analyzing vast amounts of data from the internet. Much of this is useful information, but it can also pick up dangerous or inappropriate content. To make sure the model acts as a helpful and safe assistant, Developers put it through an additional training process, teaching it how to respond safely and responsibly to users. However, because the model is so complex, it's impossible to anticipate every possible question or scenario a user might present. Sometimes, people can find unusual ways, called jailbreaking, to trick the model into revealing information or behaving in ways it shouldn't. At the lab, Researchers deliberately test for these vulnerabilities to make sure the model is as secure and trustworthy as possible before it's widely used. In order to jailbreak these models to try to find out how good their guardrails are, we can take a mathematical approach and just sort of compute how the model might have this 
you know, weak spot. Alternatively, we can also sort of just think about what the model might be biased towards and use those biases against it. If we want the model to tell me uh, how to build a bomb, we can start talking a lot about bombs in the prompt. And sometimes these, these tricks, even though they're sort of simple, they can get the model to start thinking about bombs a lot and then just be inclined to want to keep going as opposed to you know, adhering to, the, to their guardrails. These are two kind of approaches, like the mathematical approach and the simple, like let's take advantage of this model's biases type of approach. These, these are sort of on opposite ends of a spectrum and there's all kinds of approaches in between. And we're exploring all these different things at the lab. Just as self-driving cars can't predict every roadblock, AI models are not immune to failures. Cars cannot be put on the market without safety testing and ratings that are available to the public. So why should AI be any different? At Learmoor, we recognize that AI has a lot of potential to transform our science and national security mission. However, at the same time, it presents a lot of risks. To address these concerns, we are using AI safety technologies developed by Project Guard. Guard which stands for Guaranteed AI Risk Deterrence, is about building provably safe guardrails for advanced AI. Bavia's team stress tests AI systems to uncover hidden vulnerabilities and develops training methods to keep powerful AI aligned with human interests. The goal of Project Guard is to enable a mission-critical AI that is not only powerful, but also safe and trustworthy. We are combining AI expertise with a breadth and depth of domain expertise we have here in the lab and coming up with technologies that can make AI safer for these mission critical applications. Just as car safety evolved to protect both drivers and pedestrians, Guard is designed to keep both users and society safe from AI risks, whether that's preventing misuse, protecting privacy, or ensuring national security. This is done through two complementary approaches called red teaming and blue teaming. Blue teaming can be thought of as protecting the car and driver with preventative safety features like lane departure warnings, dashboard maintenance lights, and airbags. In the case of AI security, blue teaming defends systems, detects attacks, and responds to and recovers from breaches. But to fully test these models, scientists must go on the offensive. Just like we can test cars for safety issues, we can test AI models for security vulnerabilities using red teaming. Red teaming is a strategy for identifying benign and adversarial susceptibilities in AI models. Red teaming is like crash testing a car, intentionally pushing the system to fail in order to uncover hidden vulnerabilities before real harm occurs. We try to simulate what it's like if they might be under attack. So maybe some user is trying to get the model to do something that the model shouldn't be doing. We can sort of replicate that process in a safe sandbox type, in, type of environment. Can the model be hacked into or, or can the model be convinced to do something that its developers didn't want it to do? Blue teaming and red teaming are just one level of risk-proofing AI. Guard is also conducting assurance research to evaluate AI models for trustworthiness and reliability, not only for safety and security, but for detecting and mitigating bias, addressing vulnerabilities, and ensuring resilience of the AI tools available to the public today. People make decisions based on the fact that, oh, this, this car performed well, like it's its seatbelts, its airbags, all these things were vetted and deemed trustworthy by some third party that's reliable. And so you're gonna want that same sort of assurance. If we really wanna achieve the promises of these AI capabilities, then people need to be able to rely on the fact that they're trustworthy. There are quite a few smart people working on these challenging problems. At the same time, there are institutions like Lawrence Overmore National Lab that are taking a lead in recognizing these challenges and then coming up with ways to address them. From taking human jobs to taking over the world, society has a lot of concerns about AI. Through partnerships with other national labs and leading experts like Yashua Bengio, Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory is mapping the road to a safer, 
more secure future with AI. At this point, at least, we have agency. The future is in our hand. It is not determined. People often ask me if I am pessimistic or optimistic about the future of society with AI advances. And my answer is always, it doesn't really matter. What matters is what can I do, what can each of us do to steer the needle towards a better future?